In this video, we are going to discuss input output pattern overview. So, in this particular pattern, we shall be discussing how the MR tasks can store their data on the SDFS or onto some external storage for the future read and write operations. Now, what is input output pattern? Sometimes we do not use the traditional method to store our data onto the SDFS. So, the MR jobs cannot read the data block from the Hadoop file system next time because it is not getting stored onto the SDFS. So, obviously, in future, it is quite imp impossible to get those data from the SDFS directly. So, like this situation, we need to organize our MR job to perform read and write operations from some different storage sources. So, in this way, you can find that either the MR jobs can store the data on the SDFS for the future retrieval, but if they are not storing the data on the SDFS, then obviously the data accessing will be a problem in the future days. So, that is why it must be capable to store the data onto some external storage spaces. So, in this section, we will see how to randomly generate data and store it onto the SDFS. So, we will be looking for this how to store our data randomly generated data onto the SDFS and also we shall learn to use external source to read and write using them. So, this is our input output design pattern. We will be discussing lots on this particular topic in the next successive videos. Please watch all of them and thanks for watching this.